And there's so many miracles. A man in Peru had yellow fever, wow. and he was supposed to die. And then one day, we the first trip I ever went on, on a corporate mm -hmm. mission trip was in 1994 uh -huh. with our missions team from uh -huh. our church. Right. And there was a lady who was actually on her deathbed, wow. and a few of the, our team went over and we laid hands on her and prayed for her. Uh -huh. And the next night, we had a service at the church, and she was dancing up in front of the church. Awesome. So when you see a miracle, it actually it gives you more of an expectancy yes. and just believe once yeah. you see that. You know, mm -hmm. a lot of people won't believe it unless they see it. And that's not faith. But no, but <laughs> once you actually experience uh -huh. it and you know that God can use you, right. he'll use anybody. He used right. the donkey in the Old Testament, right. so he used you and me. Yes. I remember, I don't know if you remember this, but a couple of years back I was getting ready to come to an evangelism meeting and I was going to lead your prayer and just as I was about to leave the house, I heard a blood-curdling scream. And my son came running in the house with his face full of blood. And the neighborhood dog had ripped through both sides of his nostril and punctured his cheek. And I remember calling and saying that my son has just been attacked by a dog and I can't go. And um, Well, actually, at the time, the ambulance was on its way. And the, my son was pushing the uh, little cloth I gave him from a towel into his face and we prayed and agreed that he'd be okay and he wouldn't have any scars and the rest is history he was okay and the doctors were amazed that he didn't have any complications didn't have any stars any scars although he held my husband's hand so tightly when they they had to stitch him up I don't mm -hmm. <laughs> my husband probably doesn't have a physical scar but he remembers how strong that was but the neat thing about all of that is that God came through and that was a miracle Yes, it was. I actually, that brings to my remembrance, uh, when my son was born, uh -huh. uh, my wife took him to the doctor and they, uh -huh. they gave us that he was blind. Right. They shined a flashlight in his eyes and everything and there was no response. Wow. And I was going to a certain church at the time mm -hmm. and I was reading in James where you call the elders of the church mm -hmm. and they anoint the person with oil and mm -hmm. the prayer of faith will raise him up. Right. Well, I was attending a church which didn't believe. Uh -huh. So I called my sister who believe the word uh -huh. of God. She asked me if I had any baby oil in my house. Uh -huh. and we did. We anointed uh, <laughs> our son with oil and, uh -huh. and took him into the doctor a few right. weeks later and the doctor shined the flashlight in his eyes and he, he could see. Isn't that and, awesome? And it totally astonished the doctor and of uh -huh. course I had an opportunity to tell him that the Lord Jesus Christ healed him and I gave uh -huh. my gospel tract. Uh -huh, that's just awesome. Now Pastor Nick, have you always had such love inside of you? You know, I really didn't. Uh -huh. I mean, I was always, I was voted the friendliest kid in my high school when right. I, people got along with me and stuff. Uh -huh. I don't think I was hateful or anything, but I, I did get into trouble. And uh -huh. But when someone shared Christ with me, I've been in the Lord for 35 years now, and it's uh -huh. just, uh, you know, he took that. I was prejudiced, actually, right. and he took that uh -huh. away. Awesome. So, I mean, that was a miracle in itself, too. Well, you've gone to um, so many countries. Obviously, you love all people groups. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Now, what if people want to know the Lord like you do? What what should they do? Well, the Bible said, Seek ye and you'll find the Lord. If you seek Him in prayer and mm -hmm. seek Him in the Word of God mm -hmm. and seek Him actually in fellowship with other believers. Mm -hmm. See, there's so much power when the body of Christ comes together. Mm -hmm. And I think that's why the enemy of our soul, Satan, has mm -hmm. tried to divide us right. with certain names on our churches and things right. like that. But it doesn't matter, like you said, what church right. we belong to. Uh -huh. If we're born again, we right. belong to the body of Christ. Right. And the love of God, the Bible said, has been shed abroad in our hearts by the Holy Ghost, which mm -hmm. has been given unto us. Mm -hmm. So we don't have to work up the love of God. Right. It's the fruit of the Spirit. Right. And the more that you see people through God's eyes, mm -hmm. I believe the compassion. Mm -hmm. You know, what happens in my life when I when I walk by people actually in wheelchairs or whatever. Right. It, it just... I know. I'm it draws me to them. Mm -hmm. Your heart just goes out mm -hmm. to them because you just, you know, I you're touched with their infirmities. Hurt. Yeah. No, and you know that yeah. Jesus mm -hmm. loves them and he mm -hmm. he paid for their sins mm -hmm. and and that's right. why I just love doing what I'm doing and I just right. thank God that someone shared the message with me. Yes. And you know, it's a multiplication. That's what the yeah. Lord wants for all of us to mm -hmm. to multiply. Yes. You yes. know, and just go out there and destroy the works of the enemy. Right. Could you just say a prayer for anybody watching now that might want to um, know God better like you do? Sure. The Bible tells us that how will they know unless you tell them? Mm -hmm. Romans 10, verse 14. 
and how can they hear without a preacher? Mm -hmm. And it also says faith comes by hearing mm -hmm. and hearing by the word of God. Mm -hmm. So, and it says in Romans 10, 9 and 10, that if you confess with your mouth that Jesus Christ is Lord mm -hmm. and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, that you would be saved. Mm -hmm. It's a definite promise. We don't have to hope or think that we'd go to heaven. Mm -hmm. So we're just gonna say a prayer and if anybody wants to pray this with us, you'll have a miracle tonight because this is the greatest miracle mm -hmm. to say these words to the Lord. Mm -hmm. Heavenly Father, Heavenly I know Father, I'm a sinner. No, I'm a sinner. I know I've not lived my life for you. I know I've not lived my life. I want to change that tonight. I want to change that tonight. I choose to believe in my heart. I choose to believe in my that heart. That Jesus Christ is your son. Jesus Christ is your he son. He died for all of my he sins. He died for all my sins. And shed his blood for me. And shed his blood for me. And God, you raised Jesus. And God, you raised Jesus. From the dead. From the dead. Jesus, come into my heart. Jesus, come into my heart. Make yourself real to Make me. Make yourself real to me. Be my Lord and Savior. Be my Lord and Savior. Praise God. Praise God. I'll Amen. never be the same again. I'll never be the same again. Amen. I, I opened my heart to the Lord actually as a little girl, but I just said that prayer along with you just yes. to reinforce that it's just that easy, isn't it? It is. I was Amen. 25 years old when I said yep. that prayer, and I, by yeah. faith. Yeah, I just opened my heart to the Lord in my room. I said, Lord, I just want to live for you. And, and I just real. opened my heart for you and just forgive me for everything I've done wrong, because everybody's yeah. done something Every wrong. Every one of us. Everybody. <laughs> Every one of sin that says, no matter who you are, thing. you know, my brother's called me a little goody two shoes, but still, that you, not, nobody's perfect no, enough on their own. Perfect. Amen. And when we miss it now, yeah. we're believers, we go back right. to God instead yeah. of run away from Him. Say, Lord, I'm sorry. Yes. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for coming. Well, it's, it's been, been a joy to be, here, to be here. So thank you. God bless you. God bless thank you. you too. Uh -huh.